fun. Place a warthog there and give it a change the properties to be a ghost and the team index should be one on that as well. Okay, now that that's completed, we actually want to uh, place down some scenery. So we'll select the scenery tab. Go to edit types, make sure the object class is scenery and click add. And now you can go ahead and go through and uh, select what type of scenery you want in the level. Okay, and then once you have selected the uh, scenery you want, click OK. And you'll lay this down just like you had uh, laid down the vehicles by right clicking somewhere in the level. And then changing the type under the properties to uh, whatever you'd like. Okay, and once you're satisfied with that, at this point we're going to go ahead and save it. Okay, and now we actually want to uh, add the beacons that distinguish each base from each base. So under the scenery tabs, we'll go to edit types. We'll select add. Go to your scenery root directory. We'll go to Blue Landing Beacon. And we'll go to Landing Beacon. We'll want to place a Landing Beacon on the first base. and place one on the second. Okay, and at this point um, we will call this level completed. We're not going to set up any uh, net game flags for race or anything along those lines. Uh, it just wouldn't be uh, uh, for this tutorial, we can create another tutorial in the future. Um, so we will go ahead and save the scenario now. And in the next step, we'll export this into a map file using tool.exe.